Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. I am a little bit behind with posting older videos. I have a queue to release. This is 11.4.7.2 and I'm driving in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is about how full self-driving behaves taking right turns at intersections and in the state of Illinois, and I think in many other states, I'd have to do the research to find out exactly how many of those states, you can turn right on red. However, if there are cars coming from the other direction and they have a green arrow, you are not supposed to turn right on red. Uh, like I said before, I'm a big fan of Elon Musk and Tesla and full self-driving. I think full self-driving beta is absolutely amazing. And I could never see myself driving without it, to be honest with you. Once you try it, you won't want to go back. The problem is, is that it costs a lot of money. Right now it's $12,000, it used to be $15,000. So here you can see me testing it out in the northwest suburbs and I'm going to go slow as we go through this intersection. I'm going to rewind it. We're going to go through the entire scenario. So let's just uh, play it here from front to finish and then I'll, I'll rewind and go through it phase by phase. So as you can see, the car is waiting a little bit and then it proceeds forward. It actually makes the move to go into the intersection and I have to disengage right here. Unfortunately, I did have to take over. My car was about to hit that other car. So let's rewind it. And as you can see, there are a lot of cars here coming and my car decides to go. This it happens again and again, but you can see these cars, they're, they're actually going over the line. They're not supposed to be going over that line all the way like they are. And the car in particular that it gets in my way goes over the line more than the other cars. And this was a big problem. Uh, now, obviously my car didn't know that they were doing that or that they were going to be doing that. I didn't even know that there was a free lane on the far right side. As a human driver, I never would have pulled out at all. I would have waited completely until all those cars had gone through. So the last replay, you can see here, they cut into my lane. They were at fault, not me, but Beta should have responded, and that continues to be an issue. So this is one of the things that the Beta testers, unfortunately, don't highlight too often. And the reason why is because it's not really a glorious part of full self-driving, but as a tester, you do need to be aware of these and be ready to take over at a moment's notice. Unfortunately, it's also awkward when you're merging on highways today. I'm sure the Tesla team is well aware of that, but that's another situation where a car comes on your left, will push right into you. And I'm not sure why Beta doesn't respond and move over or basically uh, request the driver to take over, but it just keeps carrying on. And if you don't do anything, you're going to have a side collision. So. Uh, hopefully this gets improved. I'm going to submit this video over to Tesla. Thanks so much for watching. Today's video is very short. I just wanted to highlight that really distinct point about beta so that everybody else can be aware if you're about to purchase it or test it out yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.